Oh, Irito. S sorry Why are you apologizing? That white flower... I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. Thank you for continuing to search for it. I... will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. <sighs> um... How... is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh... Now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You... should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power... Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It... It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have, 
Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. <coughs> I told everyone about it, and my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore, so I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets, but... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um... Uh, um... But it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends, but my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai, and he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Um, Yuito? Yeah? What is it? Thanks. For everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too. Happy to hear you say that. Huh? Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet! You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Tomb. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask whose grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do. 
but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. No, oh, I should be the one thanking you. I guess I should take a break. Yuito, wake up! <clears throat> what is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad... We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. Uh. Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru! Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. 
No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with Brainfields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother? Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Yuito? What happened? Why did you stop? <laughs> what? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru. Is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, you'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Sumeragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In 
in an unprecedented promotion. He was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait. That's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaragi's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumaraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumaraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? Man, you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because... Well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers... That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? Huh. What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus. I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago, that not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo, 
because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokosho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokosho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokosho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital, in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi.